Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of our SQLite tutorial. In this part we are going to continue where we left off. Alright, so we've, so far we created I think 4 or 5 methods, 4 methods. We created table, added row, deleted the row, and updated the row. We're going to start this part with a little bit of housekeeping. So the first thing I want to do is create a class level variable for this DB file. Okay, so I'm going to cut this from here and paste right here and make this a constant. Okay, so now we can delete that line of code from each method that we have. Okay. Uh, next, I want to get rid of this console.read line. I'm going to cut this and paste it in the main right here. Now we can get rid of that from every method that we have. This is going to run the method and stop right here anyway. We don't have to do it individually for each one. Okay, so that's two line of codes gone. Okay. Um, let's see, I think that should be it for now. So let's go ahead and collapse some of these methods before we start our next method. Okay, our next method is going to be the read method. Okay, so static void. Read. Okay. So let's call this read table. Okay. All right. So let's start this with something a little different. So we're going to use a using statement in here using. SQLite connection connection equals new SQLite connection. Now we can pa pass that constant variable up here DB file. Okay, and uh, we can open the connection, connection that open. Okay. And then I'm going to create a SQLite command slightly different. CMD equals new SQLite command. And in here I'm going to pass in directly the SQLite statement. So within codes, I'm going to say select star from person table. Okay, and then pass in the connection. Okay. Now, instead of execute non-query, we're going to say uh, cmd dot execute reader. Okay. Now this is not going to just be like this. We are going to assign this to a variable to store the information that's going to read the file, the table, but we want to store the result inside a variable, and that variable is going to be a SQLite type of SQLite reader. SQL data reader. Okay, let's call this reader. Okay. All right. Now that we have the information stored in this variable, once this run, we can say uh, first I want to um, do a console.write line. 
I want to print out a um, let's say ID get some space and then name okay so first one uh, write down the column name and then draw a line maybe underneath console that right line let's draw a line okay then we'll create the loop so while loop while reader that read okay open braces inside here we're going to say console dot right line uh, we can do this a couple of different ways uh, let's try actually both so we could either do um, let me open a string interpolation in here so first the first way to do this is say reader that get so the if the column is int we can say get int 32 and in parens we pass in the index number of the column that's one way of doing it and the other way of doing it is let's do this for the name column reader just open close uh, square brackets and type in the column name so to the different way of uh, doing things okay get the same result this represent the column name and this represent the index of the column okay all right and over here we could also do instead of just typing the uh, string value that we want to we could say uh, um reader dot get name and uh, pass in the uh, this is going to get the header, the um, header of the column. Okay, so index number one is the uh, number of the name column. Okay, we should get the same result. This one is just whatever we type, I guess. You can type it anything, anything you want to, but this one will get the column name. Okay, so let's call this method and actually let's at the end let's um, type in another console dot right line let's say uh, end of file end of the table okay let's go ahead and call this method from the main comment this one out and call in the read table method. Okay, let's give it a shot, see what happens. All right, beautiful. So, see, we got this ID is what we typed, and this one was retrieved from the table, the column name. Okay, so we have our ID columns, data, and name column data. Okay, now if we change this to instead of simple ID, we could if we said reader dot get get name and pass in zero, we would get the ID. Um, see let's try this this should get the ID column name for us let's try this out okay there you have it so you had the column names and the data okay all right so that's our read method all right let's do a quick recap since we did a few different things here 
So first we use the user statement and then close everything inside here. That was something. And then we did a little housekeeping. We declared the uh, class level variable, uh, our database file. And then here, instead of using a separate variable for the SQLite statement, we passed in directly as a argument to our SQLite command. And the next thing that was different, instead of execute non-query here, we used execute uh, reader and assign to um, a reader variable that's type of SQL data reader. And then down below here, um, we used reader that get name to get the value of the column name. And then reader dot get int 32 by passing in the column number, we retrieve the value of the column the ID values, which is one, two, three. I think we had only two, one, two. And the different way of doing it, by passing the name of the column within the square brackets. Inside double quotes, of course. Okay, so um, this was fun. Uh, in the next part, I think we are going to create a person class and uh, use that to add data to our table to update to delete and read data okay so i'll see you there have a good one take it easy